The New Orleans Pelicans have taken a commanding 3-0 lead in this best of seven series. And the NBA media have a prevailing theory that the Pelicans are getting amazing results from double teaming Damian Lillard in the pick and roll, causing all sorts of havoc on the Blazers offense and leading to these three wins. But I'm here to tell you that this theory is not even close to being true. Of course, there are some examples of the Pelicans defense getting extra aggressive with a second defender trying to pressure Lillard and getting a stop. You can see how they chase him with two guys around the perimeter, and why Turner cuts to this corner I have no idea, and it helps Dame step out of bounds on the drive. And with Rondo and Miritich hounding him together, he ends up leaving his feet and gets stuck throwing the ball away at the end of the game or how they blast him coming around this ball screen and Lillard almost turns the ball over. This stagnates their offensive set, leaving CJ to ISO and miss a tough running jumper while falling down. And the pursuit by an extra defender ends up getting them a block shot out of bounds for Rondo. But for every possession where the Blazers come up empty with a bad look or turnover, there were more than enough examples of great shots that Terry Stotts has to be happy with whether they go in or not. They step Anthony Davis up on a double and the easy short roll should have been a shot by Nurkic at the rim, but they get a wide open McCollum three from the wing that just doesn't go in. This time, Dame sucks three defenders into him on the right side, kicks it out to Aminu, who's an elite standstill three point shooter for a good look, and the ball hits every part of the rim before spinning out. Miritich tries to come over and add more pressure to Lillard. Simple pass to Davis, who can't finish a shot from four feet away from the hoop. They run a double ball screen out top. The Pelicans try to squeeze him with Rondo and Holiday, and CJ gets an attack of the closeout and a wide open floater from the dotted line, but just can't get it to fall. On this pistol action, the handoff into ball screen sucks Miritich up to the ball, and the defense survives what should have been an easy pass to the roll man for either a shot or a kick out to a wide open Aminu in the corner, yet ends up being a turnover. Again, the pick and roll sucks two defenders to Dame, who hits Nurkic in the lane for what should be an easy shot, and then the putback should be even easier, but the Pelicans dodge two serious bullets. I just showed you examples of great shots that the offense couldn't knock down but it's time to show you some of the scores they're getting out of Dame's pick and rolls. Warning, easy shot alert. By bringing AD up near the three point line, it enables Nurkic a free run to the hoop and they have no hope but to put him on the free throw line. Another example where they bring their primary rim protector all the way above the three point line, allowing Lillard to hit Davis at the free throw line and they have no one back there who can stop this dunk. The whole point of modern offense is to force closeouts and attack them and the Blazers are able to invite the double anytime they want. A pass to Collins in the wing gets him by the closeout with a shot fake and all the way to the rim for a layup. One way to combat the double team and pressure on Lillard is to run Spain pick and roll, where you back screen the ball screeners man. They give up a wide open runner and still have space for the putback. Message to Coach Stotts, run this five times a game. Another example of trying to squeeze Dame with Anthony Davis, and he's easily able to make the pass to Nurkic, who gets more free throws. While Nurkic has been miserable with his shooting in the series, it's not from lack of point-blank shots. With Anthony Davis so concerned with doubling Lillard, there's no one with any rim protection ability to stop Nurkic from taking a dribble, getting to the rim, and eventually putting the ball back in the basket. Another way to combat the constant high hedge and double teams is to back it out, wait for the roll man to clear, and then isolate out top one-on-one. -on -one. Anyone but Rondo and Drew Holiday is a prime target for a Dame blow-by to the rim for a layup. Same thing happens here, and credit Dame for being patient and not trying to force things, keeping his dribble alive in order to go at Moore. Anthony Davis is so concerned with Lillard that he ignores his own man, who walks to the left wing, catches the wide open pass, and sinks the three. Another example of their offense thriving when attacking the closeout. They pop Collins out to the top with tons of space, and this collapsing the defense directly leads to the Harkless tip dunk. Watch how Miritich comes over to shadow Lillard very closely at the block. This forced Anthony Davis to bump down to Ed Davis, clearing some room for Aminu to knock down this shot. And when Nurkic gets some good wood on the ball screen, it leaves Miritich alone trying to pressure. 
Holiday three steps behind the play, and a strong move to the hoop for a layup. I also noticed that the Blazers had a lot of success when ball screening with Miritich's man. On a quick attack with a solid ball screen, they can't double, and Miritich has zero hope of stopping Millard getting to the basket, which directly opens up the tip-in. The Pelicans' scheme demands he gets up high to defend, and another blow-by. The only reason he misses this good shot is because he gets hit from behind, but no call. Another example where Miritich simply has no way of keeping Dame in front, and once he regains his dribble, just shoots a layup right around him. They try to double him hard on this, but when Nurkic sets a good screen, Miritich gets left on an island, and Dame drops his patented going to his left off the dribble pull-up three on Miritich's head. They attacked him with a step-up screen, and Dame gets right to the basket for a layup. A great shot, and the only reason why he misses is because Miritich whacks him across the arm and wrist, but no call. And Miritich is so wary of getting beat, and when Holiday can't get there in time to double, that a simple jab step gets him wide open for the three. He doesn't hit it, but it's a great shot. So, when you spend time today reading all about Alvin Gentry's great game plan to shut down Lillard and the Blazers' offense, I want you to realize how this strategy isn't really working much at all. The Blazers time and again have been generating great looks whenever they run Lillard in a pick and roll, and if they can just run more Spain action and attack Miritich even more, I have no doubt they will continue to get easy shot after easy shot, and maybe even get back in this series. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!